Hello friends, gagayong kakabsat. Welcome back to Lakana Gardener. Nabayag tayo man nga nga nakvlogan, gagayong kakabsat. But we are back, gagayong kakabsat. Today is a sad day, gagayong, because Bosing's gonna leave us. Only for the weekend, though, gagayong kakabsat, because he is going to attend a bachelor's party um, in the desert, high desert of California. Um, gonna be near Joshua Tree National Park um, one of his best friends uh, getting married on September we're actually going to their wedding um, we're gonna go there we're gonna go to where is it um, Lake Como um, in Italy in September to attend their wedding um, but his bachelor's party is um, to, uh, today it starts today and Bosing just went to pick up the groceries that I ordered um, for him to go uh, take it to his friend's party because you know guys they don't really <laughs> like to shop and stuff like that so um, I just ordered it online and he's picking it up from Whole Foods Gagayim Club set. Today is a good day because it's quite um, overcast and it's not as hot as the past couple of days here in Los Angeles. It's been really hot, so my allergies have been really bad. Still today, my allergies really bad. I cut some oregano for the chickens and my allergies just flared up like really badly. That's so... Um, I've been taking a lot of allergy medicine, but, um, I've been taking Claritin, Gagayim Kabsat, um, and it's been affecting my sleep. I can't sleep because it's non-drowsy. I don't know if it's keeping me awake at night. Maybe I need to, like, take it at a different time because I take it at night. <sighs> well, um, <clears throat> like, last night, I think I got, like, four hours of sleep because I couldn't sleep. I just couldn't sleep. I took the medicine because it, my allergies were really bad, so I don't know. Maybe I should stick to like a Zyrtec or something. Let me know in the comments what kind of allergy medicine you take. Do you have allergies? Because I really have bad allergies. Anyway, let me show you the garden to update you on what's going on outside. So I'll be right back. Okay, friends, here are my seedlings. I have some shishito, shishito, shishito peppers, some uh, basil, bitter melon. Uh, this one is parsley. I have more basil here. I have zinnia, squash. And look what's happening to my um, <clears throat> seedlings, gagayam. Something's eating them. I think it's a ground squirrel because if I put it near the bottom here, they just go at it so i think it's the ground squirrel but if i leave it up here they leave it alone so that's the update on their seedlings and we're waiting maybe until may to plant some of these like these tomatoes in the back i can probably plant those those are pink brandy tomato so the garden over here is still pretty bare i have seedlings that i've started but um probably i'm problem i'm having problem with the soil that i bought because it's too nutrient dense and like if i plant any seeds directly it doesn't really take off so i have to um start on well uh, start them as seedlings and then i just plant them up um, just like this one this is a yellow squash but you can see i think there's too much nitrogen on it and um, that's probably why the leaves are yellowing but i've experienced this before with this kind of soil and with this type of new soil you just gotta let the let the bugs work it out and all the good stuff work out the soil and but once these seedlings grow up a bit bigger they do better in the soil so that's what's going on with that so um like they say have patience right and i'll show you in about a month or two how this seedling fare but yeah um that's what we have so this is the oregano that i was trimming 
over here and I had to stop because my allergies started flaring up really badly. <sighs> there you are. And over here, we have some radishes that grew up, but um, unfortunately some of them were eaten by bugs. So this is how bad um, the roly poly problem here. Um, they just kind of overtake the garden, um, but you know, some of them survive and we have a big patch of radishes over here. This is the shayote that's struggling, but it's finally starting to take off. Suffered from that hail that happened. This is a transplant, so that's why it struggled. Anyway, gagayam, let's switch to this garden bed. It's much it's doing much better because I didn't add too much new soil in this one. We have our peas over here. We have a chayote. This one when it was transplanted, I just cut it at the base and it sprouted up. We have some kohlrabi here that's being completely decimated by bugs but um anyway i have to thin this so i'll just have one two of them we have some onions going on and look okay this seedling is doing really good so you can see the leaves are not metallic looking or purple looking so that means that it's doing good and we have calabasa and we have another calabasa here Anyway, Gagayam, so far, not so good. <laughs> but if you have patience, things will work out. Yeah, Gagayam, if you have patience, things will work out. Um, I have some dormant pepper here. It's a jalapeno. It, it's a year old and it's starting to sprout up. So it's getting really warm here, but um, not quite. So the peppers are not quite ready to grow really well. This is another pepper, shishito. And we have some onions here. We have some nasturtiums for the chickens. Hopefully it'll help the soil a bit. And I have an eggplant there that's also a transplant it's not hot enough for them to take off um yeah I, I planted some beets here but the bugs got to them right away except for a couple so that's how it's going the problem with um, all of these beds are I used to have plenty of plant materials here like you know like you've seen my blogs before I have like almost shrub tree like things that are planted here and once I took out all of that foliage all the bugs didn't have anything else to eat so now they're eating all of my seedlings but with patience you know like I just keep planting seeds and planting seedlings until things take off and once I populate this bed it will take off I know it trust the process they say um, meanwhile I have some fruits here I've been experimenting on just leaving them bare like this one this is a low quad it really suffered from that hail, Gogayam. So this is all hail da damage. Look at that. Hail damage. Yen. Okay. And all over the place, there are this beautiful calendula blooming. Here's some more. And of course, my lavender is always doing good. They're always just blooming all around. Except 
for this one that I over trimmed kagayam. I planned on taking it all out. I plan on taking it out, but I over trimmed this because it was just not doing really well. So I trimmed it up and I was wondering what would happen to it, but it's not surviving, but that's okay because I get a lot of um, volunteer lavender popping up on the ground all the time. Like around here, I pile up all my junk from my garden, including sometimes lavender cuttings or mulch. I mulch it with lavender and the seeds just take off. Somehow this bed is not doing really well. Um, we have something's going on on this bed. Look at the foliage on this lavender. I forgot if this is normal or something's going on with the with with the soil. Um, I experimented last. I think a year or two years ago with a bunch of different things I loaded this bed with um, what is that called uh, cuttings from <clears throat> aloe vera and I filled this up with aloe vera tons of aloe vera because we trim an aloe vera in the backyard and it's just like you know like 6 to 12 inch <laughs> high of aloe vera <clears throat> I don't know if that was too much for this bed but this oregano seems to be doing well I actually just trimmed this and gave the trimmings to Bossing's mom and it's quite it's quite um, lively and full of growth Anyway, go get your set. That's our garden update for now. Here are my doggies. They're gonna miss their dad a lot. Are you gonna miss your daddy? Huh? Are you gonna miss your daddy? Yeah, you are. Friends. This is it. So this is the garden from up here from our deck. Take a look at it now, Gugayim Hamsat, because it will change. In late spring, summer, it's gonna look really, really good. Full of foliage, flowers that will be like blooming. I'm going to plant tomatoes, peppers, and all kinds of veggies around here. Anyway, gagayim kakabsat. Thanks for watching for now. I'll get back to you in um, a later time. See you in a little bit. This is just going to be us for the weekend. Just me and Charlie and Sirus. Sirus outside right now. So, But this little baby sticking next to me. Oh, Charlie. Okay, friends, here's all the groceries that I got. Bossing, I got some water, LaCroix, sparkling water, and I also added some of this beer. And then also, um, we got some wine, pickles, some coffee, tea, um, nuts, pastries, cookies, chips, bread, crackers, and some fruits. Then I also have some yogurt, cured meat, fake meat, and what else? Cheeses to add to this, but it's in the refrigerator right now. Bosing's gonna leave in a few hours. There's nine of them in this party, so I thought that I could pack some extra stuff for them because they're gonna be there for about two to three days. Yan gagayam, it's all packed. Bosing's going to leave me. Oh, no. Bye bye, oh, Bosing. No more. No more daddy. Oh no. oh no, what are you gonna do? 
Boosting's gonna leave us for the weekend. Oh no. <laughs> okay, good guy, young kakasat. I'm just washing some linens for bossing, and then that's he's pretty much packed. Guess who's leaving me, Gagayam Kakabsat? He's gonna leave me. Why are you leaving me? Mm. <laughs> you got everything? Yeah, oh, cold. Yeah, it is cold. <laughs> yeah. You got extra, huh? Mm. Okay. Okay. I got everything ready for you already. You got toothbrush, toothpaste. <laughs> And floss. Okay, he's gonna turn off his laptop. And then I have some chai in here, snacks, water, snacks, apple, apricot, and nuts. Bossing on his way out now. He's gonna leave me. Coachella Fest too, so he oh, might get stuck. Yeah. Bye, baby. Oh. See you later. Come back Sunday. Yeah. Oh. Where's your bag? Backpack. Yeah. I forgot. <laughs> All right, bossing. See you Sunday. Drive yeah. safe. We got blankets oh, yeah. and your thing. Okay, bye, boy. See. Text me when you get there. Tell everyone I said hello. Tell Arash happy bachelorette. <laughs> bye bye. Bye bye.